just glazing over the top so it softens it back and now I'm going over and very it's a very light layer so if you've done the pressure test sort of like I've used quite a hard pressure sort of a six or a seven for that initial bright white highlight area now I go over with light to medium pressure um, so about a three or a four on the pressure scale just glazed over that blue a tiny little bit what you'll find as I start off with the eye is I feel my way around just popping in little bits of shadow little bits of highlight little bits of color gradually building it up so I filled in most of the shape so a bit like as I say call it color by numbers not too technical filling in that area um, and now I'm just going in, I've got the polychromo black here, as you can see, super, super sharp point I've gone in there with. I'm keeping my eye on that reference photo. Every time there's a pause, I'm watching the reference photo. Just to check I'm getting those placements in, in the perfect space. So that's it for this first part of the video. As I mentioned before, if you want to see the next part, which is where I lay down all of the foundation layers of um, pigment before I add water, and you'll see me adding water for the underpainting using Albrecht Durer and Museum Aquarelle watercolour pencils, then that'll be the next video, which will be almost an hour long. And then the third video as part of this tutorial series will where I work all of the fur dark to light, dark to light to create all the beautiful glossy fur texture. Okay, so that's it for this one. I'll leave you with the scanned image of the completed eyes. And I'll see you very soon for part two. Thank you for watching. So like I say, I've simplified this. So we'll be using a lot of the black, a couple of greys, an indigo, white, and probably a touch of the Russian, I'm sorry, Russian, Prussian blue, only a couple of little touches. And I also know that we do pop a tiny bit of ochre into some of the fur as well along the ear later on. You can also already see the shine and the depth and the colours coming through on that ear. Once more, just plucking out those real highlights, squinting at the reference photo to see where are my brightest areas and my darkest areas, just putting in little touches. I'll start I guess, off again real time. Um, obviously, being left-handed, I'm working. Oh, sorry, right-handed. I'm working on the left-hand side. Now, what you need to remember is why we're adding the water. We're adding the water because we've just spent two hours putting down our pigment exactly where we want our pigment to be. We do not want to go in with our paintbrush and our water and start moving that pigment around. All we want to do is go in, add water to dissolve the wax that is binding our watercolour pigment together. That is all we are doing. Okay, so Coming to the end of this, part two, we leave this very, very important. We leave this to dry overnight, um, at least overnight, because this paper, remember, is cork cellulose fibre sprayed onto a backing. And even though the surface might look dry or feel dry, underneath it might not be, and your pencils will just skid off the surface. So just make sure you let it dry thoroughly. Don't be impatient at this point because you could just ruin all your hard work. Or oh, just saying here, I said earlier on, you can go in with your pencils whilst it's still damp. So I'm going in here with my cream and I'll go in with my little bit of sanguine, a little bit of ochre. And you can just intensify any areas where you want a bit more pigment. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this, which is part three of making of Lenny's portrait. So it's the third video. The first video showed us working with dry pencils to create Lenny's eyes. And now the second part of the video was laying down of the watercolour pencil for the base painting, the underpainting, and adding water. So this is the third part. I've tried to edit it down as much as possible. It's about sort of eight to ten hours I'm compact pressing down. So some of it is real time, um, as I explain a technique, and then you just repeat that technique for the fur in other areas. 
So the first thing I'm going to do with um, these dry layers is we're going to, you can see that it almost creates gloss, the way that we applied our base painting, our underpainting, the way we put the pencil down. So we've got those blacks going into greys up into the highlights over those lovely um, glossy curls. Now we're actually going to knock all of that back, first of all, using um, a black pencil. So there you see um, how much we've knocked back all of those highlights. We've softened them all back. So now I'm going to go in with a dark indigo. And just starting again, look at your reference photo. We're just going to start popping back in some of those lovely, rich, indigo areas in amongst the shadows. Now the black contours through into the glossy white highlights and it goes through the dark tones and the mid tones before it hits that white super white glossiness then sinks away again through the mid tones into the darks. So again your dark is your black going up into your indigo or your Morton violet and then into your warm or your cool mid greys, up into your light greys and your white for the most intense highlight area. And then it'll sink away again then through your mid-tones, down into your darks, your indigo and your Morton violet and away into your black. And that's the secret of these, just creating the contours of these curls. Dark, all the darks, underneath or into the deepest recess of so the deepest recess on the dog it's always that point um, underneath the ear into the side of the cheek and the highlights are going to be the areas where the light um, is hitting the dog so with Lenny here like I say we know it's coming from that right hand side from the front right hand side so it's coming up over the brow area um, hitting the top right hand side of the head, down over the ear, some little bits across the back, across the scruff of the neck, and obviously on the right hand side, that, that those curls as it just goes, curls under underneath the ear on the right hand side. So again, just intensifying these darkest shadows over to the left hand side where the light isn't hitting it as much. Going over there now, over where those warm greys are. So we've got our base layer on there, then we've gone over it with the black, and now we're going over it all with the, the indigo. Just keep flicking your eyes back, like I say, to that reference photo. And we'll have some indigo coming up from the dark of the black here into your orangey reds. So we're going to pop a little bit of indigo in there. We'll also have some molten violet in there later on as well. So you see here as well now, I've got my white pencil, super, super sharp. I'm going in and just really working on that super bright highlight across the bottom of that curl. I'll pull that light down into the darkness and then push it away up into the darkness. So out of the shadows into the light. So push up and pull it down, pushing it up. And I say as you push up into the darkness or pull down, you lift off the pressure as you come to the end of the pencil stroke. See there, I've gone back to the nose. I'm just measuring out. I'm just making sure that I'm lining up my whiskers. They're all coming out at the right place. Um, so I'm just referring back to, you know, where the nostrils are, making sure everything's in relationship to each other. So just getting in those whiskers, super sharp pencil, like I say, get the right starting position in the right place, thicker at the base and then lift away So 
So it's all these little whiskers and little lines that really just give the finishing touches and so, you know that's just brought him forward instantly over the top of that shadow that I put down on on the um on the sofa below him. Just the addition of those little white white dots of Pablo have really made that nose lovely and wet and glossy now. Again, we don't overwork it, it's just enough. A little touch of the indenture in blue going in there as well, just just because I love popping a little bit of blue onto the noses. Which really, really, really lifts them. Obviously, if they're usually outside and you've got a little bit of the sky reflecting in there. Okay, so that's coming to the end of this final part of the video. I'll pop up the scanned image for you now of the finished version of Lenny. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed the full tutorial and look forward to seeing what you create. Okay, thank you very much.